Hello friends, welcome again to Sunday School. I'm sitting out here in a favorite spot under this big tree and I thought that this would be a good place and you'll understand later as we get into the story why I chose this spot. Also another reason I chose this spot besides being the director of children's ministries here at Plymouth Church I also teach in our preschool and this spot here with these palm trees and this big tree is where my preschool class of three-year-olds loves to gather and play and share stories with one another. So I want you to join me in this spot as we hear and share the stories of God's people. So this Sunday will be the third Sunday in the Advent season. So we've already lit the candles for hope and peace. And now this Sunday, we'll be lighting the candle for joy. And our lesson today finds the people of Israel who have returned from exile from Babylon to Jerusalem, and they're just overjoyed. They're, they're happy. Just as we in this Advent season are waiting to celebrate the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day. And so it's that joyful feeling, that anticipation, that excitement of counting down each day and remembering all the fun things, the memories that we have that we share with our families. And what's special about this Sunday, as you will hear in this story, is thinking about how things are so different for us right now and how we are longing to be able to be together with one another, to be here on our beautiful church campus in person rather than meeting as we are now on video. So hear now this story based on Psalm 126 from our Bible book. And this is a little story about Elijah. So when old Elijah sat down in the shade of the big tree, the children hurried to sit around him. They knew Elijah would tell them stories of long ago, of the time when their people were slaves in Egypt, or when they lived in Babylon and longed to return to Jerusalem. As they jostled and scurried so that they could sit close to Elijah, they wondered, like, what will the story be today? Elijah's eyes were closed as he sat there under the tree. And sometimes he did that just pretending that he was asleep. And then he would act surprised when he opens his eyes and saw all the children sitting there waiting. Oh, oh. disturbing my nap again, are you? <laughs> I can't get a moment's rest anymore, Elijah was complaining. But the children knew that Elijah was only kidding with them. And because Elijah loved to tell the stories of God and God's people. Well, Elijah said, I have something a little different today. You have heard the stories of when our ancestors were slaves in Egypt and how hard and miserable our lives were there. I have told you about living in Babylon and how much we wanted to be here in Jerusalem again. I will never forget the day when we were able to come here to come home. Oh, wow. What joy. And I know we can't wait until we can come here to the church campus and be together again. Everyone was shouting and praising God all the way here. And it took many days for us to walk from Babylon to Jerusalem. So we gave thanks to God. We even wrote a special prayer song to praise God and to give thanks for all that God has done and does for us. You know what? You can help me with it. I will say a part. And when I point to you, all of you can say this part. 
Listen carefully. God has done great things for us. You go, God. Remember, the phrase is, God has done great things for us. You go, God. Join me now. When God said we could return to Jerusalem, boy, we thought we were dreaming. Then we began to laugh and shout for joy. All the nations around us looked at us and they said, God is doing great things for them. Your turn. God has done great things for us. You go, God. Oh, God, be good to us now as you have been in the past. Your turn. God has done great things for us. You go, God. If we begin our days in tears, end our day with shouts of joy. Your turn. God has done great things for us. You go, God. So children, Elijah said, always remember that God has done great things for us. Every day, give thanks to God. Now, why don't you go and play so this old man here can take a little nap? <laughs> Elijah closed his eyes and leaned back against that favorite tree. So I want you to remember, friends, though things have been very different for us this year, we're anticipating, waiting to celebrate the birth of Jesus on Christmas Day. It may be a little different this year, but we're going to be together real soon. And remember, God has done great things for us and is still doing great things for us. You go, God. Amen.